Hey, you guys, happy Thursday. I know I typically do my talk on a Friday, but happy Thursday evening. Let me know if you're watching live with me. If you're watching the replay, give me a hashtag replay. I'm sorry for the delay. I was having some technical issues. But um, yeah, I'm super excited to be here and to discuss tonight's topic, building a weight loss plan, thinking about a busy lifestyle, okay? So comment in the chat if this is relevant to you. Give me a, hey Kristen, what's up if you're watching me live? Give me a hashtag replay if you're watching the replay. I'm so excited to be here with you guys this Thursday evening. Um, and so I know this topic is really important, not just for my clients, because I work with a lot of really busy people. I myself am a super busy person. I'm always on the go, I like to travel, um, I'm very social, and you know, so part of this is also for me as well. No, I'm not trying to lose weight, but um, I do wanna be active and, and healthy and, and fit, so you know, this is as much you know, relatable to me as it is to you guys. So let me know that you're watching live with me. Super excited to be here, you guys. Like, honestly, just being here is a win for me. Has anyone ever noticed the effects of a denim jacket? I was talking about this today with some health coaches that I coach, um, and that I feel like you can just throw on a denim jacket with whatever and you already just feel stylish, right? And so I always say that fashion helps with our mindset and all about mindset coaching. And so just me being here in my cozy little denim jacket, I feel like I can talk about anything. I can conquer the world in denim, right? <laughs> so total side note here. But anyway, what I want to talk about today first um, is the word busy, okay? And so I'm going to talk about something that you probably didn't even expect to hear me say on tonight's talk, okay? And it's about the word busy. And those of you who work with me or who have worked with me know I'm all about language. And this might be just because I used to be an English teacher, but it's also because the way we talk to ourselves and the way we talk about ourselves really affect who we are as a person, our mindset, and the way people perceive us. And of course, the way we perceive ourselves. All right, so this is actually one of the best tips I ever learned about the word busy, okay? And so I actually learned this when I was like going to networking events back in the day and trying to, you know, to inform more people about create my weight and what we do. Um, and so one of the things I learned was never to you never um, define yourself as busy, you know, or use the adjective busy to describe yourself. So for example, if someone says, "Hey, how's it going?" and you're like busy, okay? Or "Hey, how's business going?" and you're just like super, super busy, you know? And oftentimes it's like that way of talking, right? That fast paced, higher intensity uh, tone accompanies the word busy, okay? And the word busy, although I understand it can be good, like we want business to be busy, we like staying busy, right? That term itself, it can be looked at as kind of like a negative word because it means that we're not open to more opportunities. It means that we have enough to handle, that we've exceeded our bandwidth, okay? And oftentimes I find that people are not successful on the weight loss journey because they feel like they can't add anything else to their life, that they have maxed out their bandwidth. Comment if that's you. Comment if you feel like you are at capacity, okay? Emotionally, physically, mentally, any version. You're just capped out. All right, I'm gonna get serious here for a minute because for you to be successful on the weight loss journey, gotta get serious. And so many of us use busy as an excuse. Comment if that's you. Comment if being busy is a sexy excuse for you. You know you have the time. You know you have the capacity, but you're just not utilizing it properly. You're not optimizing your time. How many of that's you? I wanna know. And if you saw me talk a couple weeks ago, you know I said one of the best things you need to be successful on the weight loss journey is honesty. That was my number one. And so many people are not honest. Okay? So I'm gonna get honest with you here. So this word busy, okay, is it the worst word in the world? No. But I'm gonna challenge you to use it less. Don't define your life or you as busy. Let's think about it. Let's say you're dating, okay? You're out dating and every guy or girl you meet, you're like, oh, I'm just so busy. Oh my gosh, like, I don't have time to do anything. I don't have time to shower. I barely have time to eat, blah, 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 blah. 
What do you think that person's gonna think about you? Do you have time for them? Do you have time to go on a date with them? Do you have time to talk to them? You might be closing yourself out. Or if you go to a networking event and you just say how busy you are, you might be cutting yourself out of new business. They might think, oh, they don't need me as a client. They've got enough business. You're closing doors when you say you're so freaking busy. When you say your life is so busy, you are closing doors and you don't even know it. Okay. So instead of using the word busy, you're probably thinking, well, what word should I use, Kristen? <laughs> enlighten me. I'm about to enlighten you. It's my job. So instead of using the word busy, I want you to try to use the word active. Okay, I have an active lifestyle. Not a busy lifestyle, an active lifestyle. I don't have a busy life, I have an active life. I don't have a busy job, I have an active job. My business is booming. Business isn't busy, it's booming. Always open for new opportunities. Okay, my dating life, it's booming. Busy. Uh, so see, busy can kind of have some negative connotation. I bet you've never thought of that. Okay, word choice is everything. So instead of using the word busy, I want you to use the word active. Make that shift. Okay, this is a word shift. It also translates to a mindset shift. Right? So what do you need in life to maintain an active lifestyle? To keep up? with your life, like your job, your kids, your family, your other you know, circumstances, your other obligations. What do you need to keep up with that? It's the same four things that you need to keep up with a solid, or I'm sorry, to create a weight loss plan. It's the same thing. I always say this guys, how we do one thing is how we do everything. Okay, so it's the same four things and you're gonna wanna take notes on this Okay, super helpful, right? The four things you need to build a weight loss program or a weight loss plan, whatever, with an active lifestyle. Not busy, get that out of your vocabulary. Just like the word try, hope, maybe, garbage words. They do not serve you, they give you exits out. Mm -mm. Right? So, active lifestyle. Here we go. All right, number one is nutrition. So this is what you need, right? To maintain an active lifestyle, make an, a really successful weight loss plan within an active lifestyle. So um, I actually wanna talk about meal prepping here because I, I dropped a little poll in the Facebook group a couple days ago and I said, what is the most time consuming part of any weight loss plan? An overwhelming majority of the people responded by saying meal prepping. Okay, I think it was like 70% of the people said uh, meal prepping. And it's interesting because meal prepping looks different for everyone, right? So some people consider meal prepping like spending a Sunday afternoon, a few hours cooking a whole bunch of meals, okay? Um, and then other people, meal prepping is just making a meal. It can be just a single meal. Or it can maybe be just making a few lunches for the week, not all of your meals. Okay, so I do want to clarify that meal prepping looks different for everyone. Okay, me personally, you know, I'm lucky enough to work from home where I don't meal prep. Okay, and comment in the chat. I'd love to know about your meal prepping. Like, do you bulk cook all your meals for the week or like breakfast, lunch, dinner for the week or for a few days? Maybe you just prep all your lunches. Maybe you prep all your dinners. What does meal prepping look like for you? Or do you not meal prep at all? Are you like me? Do you just want to make a quick meal in like five to 10 minutes? three to five ingredients without much thought. That's me. Like, I'm not a meal prepper. <laughs> I have all the containers to meal prep, believe me. And if you're gonna meal prep, get the glass containers. Don't use that plastic crap. It's gonna morph in the microwave, the, the chemicals in there, the, ugh, no, no bueno. Just get the glass ones on Amazon, do yourself a favor, okay? Um, and yeah, so I'm not a meal prepper because I, tell myself, this is of course a story, but this is, you know, what ha the story I tell myself, like, I don't like meal prepping. I don't have the capacity to do it, right? So telling ourselves we don't have the time to do something really just means we don't have the capacity, typically. Um, and truth be told, like, I'm the kind of person, and you might find you're this way too, 
the kind of person where I don't have to meal prep to make healthy choices. Okay, like I can go into my fridge and I have a bag of salad, okay, and I'll just dump it in a bowl. Okay, if it says wash it, I'll wash it. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, and then I'll have, I might just make a protein on my stove, you know, in, in five minutes, five to ten minutes. Okay, and then I'll just whip up a quick like salad or a quick little lunch in five, ten minutes. That to me, me is my meal prepping. Okay, so those of you who say you spend hours and hours meal prepping, I encourage you to change your process, okay? Um, or look at the meal prepping in a different way, right? Do you really have to meal prep all of your meals? Maybe you can just do lunch. Maybe you can just do dinner. Or maybe you and your partner can split up the tasks. One person does maybe the protein, another person does like the sides, Right? Maybe one person does lunch, one person does dinner, maybe you alternate weeks. How can you simplify your process? How can you make less steps or less for you to do? How can you get your family on board? I know so many busy people I work with, they don't ask for help enough. Common affects you. Okay? You take on all the work yourself to meal prep or to grocery shop. Okay, that was another option on the poll. They, you know, and they take all the work on and they don't ask for help. My biggest recommendation for you, and I talk about this in my program, is to get your family involved. So many people feel like they have to eat things completely different than their family. And in CMW, we break that barrier. That has to stop. I was talking to Tarsha about this earlier today, actually. Tarsha, what's up, girl? Um, you have to marry your family and you into this lifestyle, okay? Because you have an active lifestyle, they have to have an active lifestyle. If you feel like you have to eat completely differently than your family, this is going to be a really hard journey for you. So you have to bring the two together. So in CMW, that's something we really work on is making this a family affair. And that means making things that you'll enjoy for your goals and also things your family will enjoy. We do that all the time. We have lots of recipes, but with our whole cookbook, we have custom things we do. You have to bring things together, okay? How can you make grocery shopping easier? Okay, because part of meal prepping is, yeah, getting the groceries, okay? Do you spend hours in the grocery store? If you are, you're wasting your time. You should be in there in 15 minutes, in and out. Unless you're going there, like me, I love to do market research. I'm always looking at new products in the market because I get so many questions from CMW clients about like, bars and snacks and you know frozen meals and all kinds of stuff so i'm always looking at new products um and I am, i'm always looking at even old products because oftentimes guys old products these companies change their recipes all the time so their their nutritional facts will change as well so there have been times where products i would recommend to clients i automatically take off of my cmw approved foods list because they've changed their formula they're adding in different you know ingredients i don't approve of so it's really important that you know we optimize our time, right? So for busy people, you should not be in the grocery store for 15, or I'm sorry, for more than 30 minutes. I'm gonna say 30 minutes. Okay, so learning how to grocery shop efficiently, that should be a really important goal for you. And some of you, if you utilize online grocery shopping, even better, right? Like you can go on Instacart, go on a Whole Foods website, go whatever all the ships, right, whatever, order your groceries, have them delivered to your house, go pick them up. Even if there's a $10 charge or you tip or whatever, what's your time worth to you? What's your energy worth? Fighting traffic, parking, dealing with lines, let them drop it off at your house, okay? I don't do that all the time, but sometimes if I'm in a bind or let's say I'm coming home from a trip, and like I know there's no food in my house and I know like the next day is Monday and like I've gotta get to work all day long. Mondays are a super busy day for me. Like I want groceries in my house, right? So like I will order groceries when I'm on the road and it'll be at my house when I get home. Well, they'll show up the next morning and then I have food. It's really not that difficult, okay? So meal prepping and grocery shopping do not have to spend a lot of time doing. If you are, I encourage you to change your process. Learn something different. 
<laughs> and that's what we do in CMW. We teach you how to make those things really simple. Okay? Um, shortcuts to all the things. Right? So like, for example, like I'm a big fan. I do have a Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's close by. I'm lucky. I love like all their bag veggies. Um, I don't want the plastic. Apparently they're going plastic free in by 2024. Someone can tell me that. I don't even know. Um, but otherwise I love the vegetable options there. But you guys, like you can get frozen veggies in the grocery store. Those are fine. Um, try to make your life simpler. Meal prepping does not have to be this crazy task. Sometimes we just make it that way. Have you thought about that? Right? So if in order to like maintain your active lifestyle, right? Active people were always trying to be more efficient. Athletes, right? Think about this. Athletes are all about efficiency. How can I, you know, make myself better at my sport, be most efficient using my energy, right? So sprint, I was a sprinter. Some of you guys know that, right? So how can we be more efficient with our stride, right? Especially in the start. Efficiency is everything. So if you're really an active person, efficiency is key for you. All right, so number one, you need a strategy when it comes to food, right? So quick grocery shopping, quick meal prepping, you know, whether it's just one meal you're doing or you're making meals in the moment fast. 10, 15 minutes max if you're cooking. Okay, number one. Number two is fitness, okay? Fitness in terms of, you know, what are the best workouts? Right? How can you best utilize your time? Now, I have worked with people that will spend maybe 10, 15 minutes working out. They're so busy. I'm going to use this word for now, although I usually don't use it. They're so busy that they don't have time to work out for more than 10, 20, maybe 30 minutes max. Oh my God, 30 minutes. That's like a blessing if I can get 30 minutes in. That's like an anomaly. Right? But my question is how efficient, how effective is that 20, 30 minute workout? Are you getting your heart rate up? Are you really burning those muscles? Are you really challenged in those 20, 30 minutes? Or something to think about, is that 20, 30 minutes really all you can do? Is it true you only have 20, 30 minutes? Could you squeeze more time in in your day? Or is that a mental block? Oh, I can't, I can't do more than 30 minutes. That's like my absolute limit. Is that a story you're telling yourself? Or is that a fact? I encourage you to get curious and be honest with yourself, like I talked about last week, okay? Um, so for weight loss, I get this question a lot. Well, is you know, 20, 30 minutes enough for a workout? It absolutely can be, especially if you're doing a really awesome 20 or 30 minute workout, you know, or you're, you're constantly working for those 20, 30 minutes, you're hitting a lot of muscle groups, or you're really isolating on one muscle group and hitting it in different angles, um, lots of time under tension, you're using resistance. Um, so it can totally be an effective workout, but you have to have the right workout, you know? And this is one of the things, I know YouTube has millions of workouts, but there's also millions of crappy workouts on YouTube or millions of workouts where you're not gonna break a sweat, or you can't do half of the movement, or they're freaking boring, right? You don't like the voice of the instructor, or like, you don't like the style, or there's just always something. You know, a good workout to me is one that leaves you feeling empowered, right? It makes you think. Um, I think that's why I love going to yoga classes, because I always feel like I leave there with like some bigger meaning. Like, I feel like I learn a lesson every time I go. Um, and um, makes you feel like you've been challenged, right? And it leaves you wanting more. A good workout will leave you wanting the next one. Right? Maybe it's because of the music. Maybe it's because of how you felt. Maybe because you know you're gonna have a nice little burn afterwards, like you're sore, or you feel great during it, whatever. It leaves you wanting more. Comment in the chat here if you have workouts that leave you wanting more that you want to have a routine, you want to stick to it. You look forward to it. Okay, because busy people, active people, as I want to say, active people will stick to a workout routine because they like it and it makes them feel really good. And it, they will make the time for it. They have the bandwidth, they have the capacity. It's a non-negotiable. 
And let me tell you guys something. I work with some really busy people, active people, and they will make time for the workouts. Because you also have to look at workouts as like your, your time. So many people I work with are like, I don't have any time for myself. I don't make any time. I put everyone else before me. Call your workout or go call your walk. Me time. This is my time. Me first. Me for a change. Self-advocacy. Right, guys? That's our number one goal in CMW this year. Self-advocacy. Because the only person who's going to advocate for you is you. I can help you. CMW, we can help you, but it's on you at the end of the day. Okay? All right. So, talk about food. Talk about fitness. Now we're going to talk about mindset. Okay, so what you need to maintain an active lifestyle and have a really solid weight loss plan with your active lifestyle. You have to have the right mindset. And so earlier, you heard me use the phrase non-negotiable. Okay, and all my active, busy people, you know, they have lots of non-negotiables in their life. Okay, so like their meetings are non-negotiable, their appointments, their travel, their commute, whatever it is. Okay, it's funny, all those things are non-negotiable, but when it comes to themselves, they negotiate. How much longer do you want to negotiate with yourself? What's happening in your life, or what's not happening in your life, because you constantly negotiate with yourself? Oh, like I, I could work out right now, but like, I, I don't know, like, I don't know if I have the time, I really should be doing this, like here's something else I could do, I'm just too tired, and you have this whole dialogue in your head. That's negotiation. Okay. The more you negotiate with yourself, okay, the more time you're wasting. And active, busy people don't have time to waste. So my recommendation for you is to stop negotiating with yourself. That's mindset tip number one. Stop getting in your own way. Stop wasting time. Utilize that time. It's amazing how my busy people waste so much freaking time. Comment if that's you. And so many times people will tell me, I'm just so busy, I don't have time for this. And then they're like, mm, no, I, I actually have time. Yeah. I love breaking down the sexy excuses. It's like my favorite part of my job. And no, I'm not like a, I'm not a ball buster. I'm not like a, you know, I'm not here to call people out. I'm just here to help you be honest and help you be successful. It's my job. That's what we do in CMW, our team. We're really good at it. Okay, comment if you're in CMW right now and we've, we've told you what's up. We've helped you manage your time better and make better choices and get over the stories. Stop negotiating with yourself. Okay. And it's funny because my... The more you decide to stay active, right? And so staying active in your life also means following through, right, with the nutrition and the fitness piece. Okay, the more you stay active with that, right, the more it's gonna become a non-negotiable, the more it's gonna become habit, right? And habits don't restrict freedom, you guys. Habits don't take away from our life. They're, they don't add to our to-do list. They create freedom in our life. They create time, they create energy, they create capacity. Okay. So what I also want you to get from today's talk is my busy, active people, I empower you to create capacity in your life. Because if you don't, you are going to crash at some point if you haven't already. And then weight loss is just way harder to happen. Create My Weight is about creating capacity so you can do all the things in your active life and maintain them for good. Most people crash and burn on the weight loss journey because, well, first of all, the system they have is not sustainable. I talked about that a couple weeks ago, why diets don't work. But number two, the system they were you know, employing, they don't have the capacity to do long term, right? All right, number four is accountability. Okay, so to maintain an active lifestyle, 
to you know keep up with everything you need to do and to be successful in the weight loss journey we have to have accountability right and of course ideally you want to hold yourself accountable right and so many people tell me well i hold myself accountable for my kids my husband my wife my job i'm so reliable like my friends like i'm there for everyone else and then when it comes to me i'm just i throw it all out the window i have no ability to hold myself accountable or i can only hold myself accountable when life is not so chaotic well if you have a busy active lifestyle when the hell is that that's all you're always going to be busy so that you what you're never going to be accountable to yourself no stop negotiating with yourself right so in cmw our number one priority is to teach you how to hold yourself accountable because you have to have that you cannot rely on someone for the rest of your life <laughs> to hold you to hold you accountable okay and you are so much more likely you guys to succeed on your journey to succeed in any goal you have for yourself when you have accountability when you have someone that you have to re respond to that looks out for you that gives you perspective that gives you the honest truth when you don't want to talk about it when you want to bury that under the rug not deal the more you don't deal with it, the more you're negotiating with yourself and the more time you're wasting. And if you're really a busy person, you wanna keep wasting time? How much further along on your journey could you be if you just let someone hold you accountable? You got the help that you needed, that authentic accountability. It's a, it's a game changer. It's an absolute game changer. And again, a good person for accountability is going to hold you accountable, make sure you're successful, show you the way, guide you, and then say, hey, listen, you know what to do. You don't need me anymore. All right? And so in our life, all right, let's say in our family life, we have our kids and our spouse and our job. They hold us accountable. And that's why you are so much more likely to be there for your kid and for your family and your job because you have that accountability. But when it comes to yourself, we gotta set something up. Okay. And I said this a few weeks ago in my talk, right? You know, my background's in education, and this is something I always said education without an accountability is useless. It's just, it's just going to give us really benchmarks to hit right? and focus on what's important. And this is the truth, guys. When people are really busy, okay, they're traveling, they have lots of events, like, but they have work dinners, they have all kinds of obligations. They don't want to get boggled down. They don't want to, they don't want to get stuck in the weeds, I like to call it, right? They don't want to like overthink it. They don't want to have to worry about all the different things to do. Right? They want to just get down to the, the nitty gritty. Okay? They want to just focus on the, the most important things they need to be successful. And that's what we do in CMW. Right? We say, okay, this week, you, these are your goals. This is all you're going to focus on. Right? You're not going to do 10 things. Right? Five, 10 things, whatever it is. You're going to do like two to three things. If that. Sometimes it's less. Right? I had a client call today, Katie is her name. She had one thing to do this week. And I said, if you can do this one thing, you'll have a great week. That's it. Keep it simple. She's a busy architect. Right? She doesn't have time to worry about all these things. And meal prepping wasn't one of her things. FYI. <laughs> it's actually a mind cycle. Um, so yeah, I, I just um, want to emphasize that if you keep telling yourself you are so busy, you have no capacity, that weight loss is not possible for you because you're just so busy and life isn't calm and life is never going to be peaceful and it's always going to be something and all these circumstances are stacked up against you. I want to tell you that you're negotiating with yourself and you are giving up. What's going to happen if you give up? Where are you going to be a year from now if you give up on yourself right now? 
Where are you going to be five years from now? What are you missing out on in your life because you're giving up on yourself? Or you don't think this is possible? Or you're not willing to put in the work to make this possible? What's your why? Why are we going to change our thinking from being busy to being active? Because active is such a stronger, more empowering word. Everyone wants to be active. Or everyone has the goal to be active, right? Because we feel better when we're active. Busy is just like oh, draining. I don't like feeling busy. I like feeling like lively and active, right? So if we, feel, if we think that way, our thoughts lead to feelings, our feelings create actions, and guess what guys, actions create results. Okay? And that's how you're going to be successful. Okay. Let me check out some of the comments here. I have, I have a few more words to say, but I want to check out the comments. Okay. And, um, oh, Faith. Hey, so we got Faith, Pamela. We got a crew. Awesome. Um, and Faith, I will, and anyone else, I want you to know something. You are never alone on this journey. Okay, being alone on this journey is a choice. You're not alone. You might be alone in your house. I live alone too. Well, I have a really amazing dog. He's not here right now. I'm so sad. He's with his dad. But, um, you know, you're not alone on this journey ever. I encourage every single one of you to reach out, whether it's to a coach, maybe it's just this community or a community of some sort. Maybe you belong to a gym, maybe you belong to um, a group, like a meetup group or something in your area. Um, this, you're not alone unless you choose to be, okay? Um, it takes a village. Um, and I've even learned this just being an entrepreneur, you know? Like I'm very much involved with other um, women in business, me, you know, male entrepreneurs, either one's great. Um, I think it's really important. So just like educating a child, it takes a village. You, you know, going through college, going through your profession, you don't do it by yourself, right? Why is weight loss any different? You're not alone. Faith, can your son help you? Can Luca help you do some things at home? I'm, I'm sure he can do something. Can he help you with the dishes? Can he help you wash vegetables? Get your kids involved, you guys. That's another... Um, recommendation. I said this earlier, but I'm going to repeat this again. If you really want to free up some time, get the family involved. And I said earlier, I was talking to Tarsha. She's like, oh, my husband, he makes all these super healthy meals. I'm like, let him help you. Get the family. Right? Why not? Don't be afraid to ask for help. You're worth it. Your goals are worth it. Your life is worth it. This is your life on the line. You have to act like it. Don't negotiate with yourself. Advocate for yourself. Okay. And if you're ready to advocate for yourself, and you're ready, you know you can't do this alone, and you need help, you need someone to guide you and show you the right way for you, right? Because it is a lot on your own. I totally get it. But again, you're not alone unless you choose to be. So if you're looking for a community, you're looking for one-on-one -on -one support, Heck, you want both, because both are great, okay? It's even better. I encourage you to book a call with us, okay? CreateMyWeight.com forward slash apply, because that's exactly what you're gonna get in CMW, Create My Weight. We have one-on-one -on -one coaching, we have group calls, we have a, an amazing, thriving community. Um, and you want ideas for meal prepping? Every Friday we have a meal prepping call, right? We, we share meals for the next week, give you quick, easy things to make, grocery shopping tips every freaking week, right? Comment if you watched Danielle and Keith last week. Is that helpful? I know Rachel was there, Tarsha was there, okay? Like, again, guys, you have to surround yourself with people that are like you, okay? That are on the same journey and you're, the way you eat and the way you move doesn't have to be the way they eat and the way they move. 
That's also something I want you to understand. Okay, because a true busy person, right, their life is different than other people's lives. Other people might have more time, more capacity, whatever, different circumstances. So you can't just pigeonhole yourself into someone else's life. You have to create your own. And that's what CMW is about. We're gonna help you create that path. We're gonna look at your schedule, we're gonna look at the time you have, and we're gonna help you create your weight. Right, your weight loss plan, your maintenance plan, your lifestyle plan. Right. We'll, have you, we'll help you get that active lifestyle you're looking for and feel really, really good about it and really good about your ability to maintain that for the rest of your life. Right. CreateMyWeight.com forward slash apply. Was this helpful for you guys? Did I hit a lot of the things you wanted me to talk about? Any questions I can answer for you? Hey, Darlene, we got Pamela. We got a group. Yes. Abby, thank you for the notes, girl. Oh, I love it. I love my note takers. <laughs> awesome. Any other curly hair girls? Oh, man, I didn't get a chance to do my hair today. Mmm, Thursday. Anyone else just happy to get through the week? I don't know where this week went. It's April 15th. Tomorrow's tax day. Oh, my God. Ah, crazy. Anyone an accountant in here? <laughs> It's tomorrow, like a big party, or maybe next week. I don't know. Um, all right, guys. Anyway, I'm going to bounce. Um, much love. I hope this was helpful for you. And I'll be back live for a talk in a couple weeks. All right. If you have a, a recommendation for a topic, drop it here in the comments, and I'll make sure to check it out. And I'll see you all soon. All right. Bye.